Welcome to My Little Book Club. My name's Diana, and I can't wait to talk about books with you all. Thanks for joining me today as I talk about The Legends of Eve, the arc I received in exchange for my honest review. Story. But from the m moment you start reading, a lot of times I'll say from the first page, and it's like it's even sooner than that. Just like, bam, you are hooked instantly. It grabs your attention. It's better. But I'm going to read you just a little snippet. Hopefully that's okay with them. Um, about this book. And I want you to see how right at the get-go, you are sucked in and you don't want to put this book down. So I will warn you that when you get this book, because please get it and read it. It's amazing. It comes out in January. Get it and read it. And when you get it, make sure you're going to have no distractions for like 24 hours and just get it all done. Because it's that good. Sleep, you don't need it. Just read. So you guys, it opens up. The lady in white appeared out of nowhere, running through the vast, untouched snow. For a moment, she stood still, her head turned back toward where she came from, barely noticing a tower made of ice. Behind it, lights blazed in the night sky. They moved like celestial rivers th flowing through the atmosphere, bathing everything from the white hills to the black horizon in a red mist. Her body tensed reacting to the gust of wind. A breeze scattered her dark hair across her bruised, pale face, sending a cloud of snow into the air. After a moment, she continued running ahead, despite having no idea where she was headed. There was no plan, but the where wasn't as important as the why or the who, and she hadn't been able to put much thought into the how. There wasn't enough time to think only run. Though fully clothed, the snowy wind wrapped around her like cold fingers, sending chills down her spine. Her clothes were loose enough to flow, but tight enough to show that her belly was much too large for her petite frame. Her life wasn't the only one she was saving. I'm going to end it there. I want to keep going because I kind of already want to read this book again. But I'm going to end it there. So you see right from the beginning, like, Whoa, what is going on? Why, why is she running? Why is there a life within her? What, who is she? Why is she important? What is going on? What was that gust of wind? I mean, there's all these questions and it's just not even, that was like page one. That was just not even fully page one, I don't think, depending on how it's printed. That was like, that that initial right there that part hooked me grabbed me took me and i was ready to just go there was no way i was putting that book down and that's what this book is so amazing i'm not going to tell you too much about what it's about i will read the book description at the end of my little talk but what i want to talk about is this book's ability to suck you in every step of the way. There is never a moment that slows down and makes you kind of lose track of your thoughts and get bored. Never. You're constantly, constantly ready to read more and more and you cannot put it down. And then the way that it is so well written and you feel for these characters as if they are your true real life friends going through these things. There is heartbreak and there is love and there are lost chances and there is fear and there is excitement in, in knowing that that fear could be conquered but wondering if it will be conquered and wondering and learning and hurting for all of these characters that are in here. And not just like the main one or the main few, all of them. 
have something amazing to offer. The side, the little side characters who most authors throw in there just to be, be in there. I mean, not that any character is ever not important in a story, but you know, the, you know, the side characters. And even in here, there's enough in them that makes you go, I want to know more. I want to know what was behind that decision. I want to know what's going on. And this is a series. There will be many more books coming, so I have a feeling we're going to learn. We're going to get questions answered, but those books are going to bring along more questions, and I am really excited to take this journey of um, this Legend of Eve, this A Warrior's Past series. I cannot wait to find more about it because this book was amazing. There were there were times, you know, maybe it was my migraine talking, but I was sleeping and I was dreaming about this. What was going to happen to Saray and what was going to happen? Was she going to get a soul? And I know that means nothing to you guys. And as soon as you read the book, you will understand all of that. But it just sucks you in and it makes you, and it made me feel so deeply. I, re, I, I felt happy and I felt blessed to have read this book. So I really hope that when it comes out that all of you buy a copy and I believe that in January when it comes out, well, it's at the end of January, so maybe for February, I don't think I'm going to have a book voting that month. I think I'm just going to say that this is the book of the month because it is that good. I need you guys just to read it. So stay tuned for that. And in January, January is my birthday month, so be on the lookout for a giveaway for that month because I have a feeling I'm going to try to save up some money so I can buy an extra copy of that book to give away in January when it comes out. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. And now I'm going to let you guys know, here's what, if you want good reads, you can read this. This is just the book description. And I know I've read it in one of my other lives, but let me go ahead and read it here so you can catch it here. Everyone is a part of the circle of time, internally reliving the same life. But Destru is the anomaly. And I, sorry, forgive me, I am probably butchering these names. So, Legends of Eve, if you are watching, I apologize now. But Destru is an anomaly. And this is his first chance at life, maybe his last, if everything works out. Saray is a lonely girl, born light years after Destru. But she can achieve her dream to graduate, top of her class at the School of Wind. The professor tells her she is one of the 12 destined students from the three elemental schools chosen to visit the Valley of Gia. Gia? Gay? Gay? Gaia? Sorry, I'm going to mispronounce it. Right? Fun, right? Except this destiny was written by the blood of gods and no one has seen the valley in over 3,000 years. How are they linked? Destru has a book written about his life, which has been bound away since the beginning of time, and Saray is destined to read it. At first, reading a book to uncover a secret seems foolish until Saray finds herself with the ability to affect its world. Watching the world, watching the words of his life change before her eyes, but that's nothing compared to the shadows plotting to kill them to make sure Destru's secret is not told. As Saray is drawn deeper into the book, it teaches her that no one ever truly knows when they're the villain in someone else's story. Not only must she find the courage to face impossible choices and figure out how she's connected to Destru, but she must battle the dark secrets in her own heart and tell her she may be the villain in her story. So this book is amazing and I've totally given it five stars and I wish I could give it even more. So that's all that I'm going to have to say for now. So thank you for watching that little tidbit. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of my uploads. Uh, and also make sure you like the video if you liked it and let me know what kind of books you'd love to hear about. Love to hear from you all. Bye.
subscribe. Bye.